It's Madden NFL 22, and we've got a duel in the Lone Star State. It's the Bolts and the Texans, and it's coming up next. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Brandon Gordon alongside the one and only Charles Davis and CD. Lots of compelling storylines in a game like this. Let's take a look at some of the numbers for these two offenses. And I'm glad you brought up the numbers because sometimes it's hard to quantify a team's performance solely by judging the numbers. But I think with these two teams, what you see is a pretty accurate representation of who they are. kickoff as we'll start at the 25. About to get our first look at this Texans offense as they're led out by Davis Mills, their rookie quarterback selected in the third round from Stanford. And for many people, a bit of a surprise selection for the Houston Texans was Davis Mills because he only had 11 starts during his time at Stanford. But coming out of high school, many ranked him as the number one quarterback going into college football. Has a live arm, better mobility than what people think, highly intelligent. I think the upside is tremendous for Dave Ellis. Mills now looks to throw on first down. He'll check this down to Johnson. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 20. Mills now going to keep it. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. And did it to perfection. It's complete to Chris Conley. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they get five there on third and two. Good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Mills. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield. And navigate a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target, Chris Conley. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A big play that time through the end. The football. The last run got a couple. here, second and eight. Mills now. He's going to go deep for Conley. And all oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Michael Davis. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Charger offense ready for their first possession, and it's Justin Herbert at the helm in his second season now out of Oregon. About the only thing that didn't go right for Justin Herbert in his rookie season, the team's overall record. The offensive rookie of the year in the NFL was the fourth rookie with over 4,000 yards passing, just 38 yards short of the rookie record set by Andrew Luck in 2012. In addition, he set the single season record for passing touchdowns by a rookie with 31, breaking the mark of Cleveland's Baker Mayfield. 
This young man's potential, limitless. That's why so many people wanted to be the next head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers and help open up the stadium big in 2020. <laughs> They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards. Do I blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Meanwhile, Herbert's throw taken in by Cook. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Good and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw here, Herbert. And this is Cook with the grab. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you fix. To the air again, Herbert. And that is incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we yard on that last run? Mills. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Goodness, you take him down, and you don't score points. You know I'm being totally <laughs> facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Breaks the tackle now with Allen. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big pickup in 10. Throwing Mills. Left side, it's Dorsett. Touchdown, Texans. Philip Dorsett, 29 yards. And the Texans have taken the early lead. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Fairburn at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. He's both 5'10". First down, and they stick with Eckler. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an OK game. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 44 yards rushing for. On first down, it's Herbert. Escaping the pressure right. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Charger. Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans seven. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. On third down, here's Mills. They dial up the screen here to Burkhead, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is going to be third and 13. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. Here for first and 10. On first down, it's Johnson. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. 
Mills throw there, taken in by Dorsett. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside. Have he got the ball to him? Not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. Third and short yardage, Mills. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. The former number three. Out for the field goal try for the Texans. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. 40 already, and another first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler, and he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run. On to give, this is Eckler. Shifts past him at the 45, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through it. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 44-yard line. Herbert off of play action. He'll get this to Eckler. They find some open field here. And he'll head out of bounds inside the Let's 10. Go. Mark go. him down at the 9. A big game that time. The scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Nice touchdown Justin Herbert punching it in from a yard oh, away. Boy. And the Charger... And that makes it 14-10. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. Mills from the gun on third down. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. Back in the expected passing situation. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They converted the quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking at second touchdown now. 56 yards. Just saw there. Here's Johnson again on second down. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. And there we saw one of the downsides of Blitzen going to run down because sometimes you get first and ten. First down, Mills. And that's complete to Cooks. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Mills to throw it. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around Come the 28. On, Come on, and the Chargers going to 45. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks a bit. It's back-to-back -back drives here for him and with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half. But Herbert on first down now. He sets to fire deep, and this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes inbound. Again, Herbert. Williams is going to have the first down and a little more, and down to the 28-yard line. On first and 10, Herbert. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. On, let's go. And it's a 33-yard attempt. And Hopkins' kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three.
So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 24. He'll hand off here to Eckler and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here second down. Well any lane that might have been. Throwing on second and eight Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath and he'll get it up to the three yard line. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cook. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Territory at the 41. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Wide open. It's Allen complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just first, now second and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cook. And able to get this down inside the 15. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that... They snap it to Herbert. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off inside the foul. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half, and now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other, so they'll want to come out, establish some rhythm, and go. Working out of the gun, Mills. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he makes it all the way down to the 30. With this for a change in field position from inside the 10. Here's first down on the other side of the field. Finding room to the 20. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Joey Bosa getting him once again his third sack of the attack. It's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. It'll be a gain of five. And they're going to turn version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down. Here we go with Johnson. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. David Johnson. A six-yard touchdown run. And, the and that one gives him a three-point lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's David Johnson who provides the cap as he scores on the touchdown run. Yeah, I know you're right there with me. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And now off. 
to the races down the right side and all the way in for a charger touchdown the cd i mean there are touchdown runs and then there are touchdown runs and that one certainly fell into the latter category now that deserves a couple exclamation points and the thing that stood out to me was his ability to continue through the initial contact how many times do we see runners get slowed up and not get what they can on a run because of that first contact. But he kept the compass pointing in the right direction, kept the legs churning, and turned this into a huge play. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the first here on third. On third down, here's Mills. He's got Jordan complete right side. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Open man is Palmer. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They'll try and run for it with Kelly. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with four down distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. These kickers now it used to be that a 50 plus yarder was cause for celebration now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we now. throwing again on second and 10 Mills Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Jerry Tillery give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get... They'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. That's not good enough, man. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guy. Inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Mills on first down. He's got the hookup with Conley. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard. All that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown, Chris Conley, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Texans are... And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. A drive there of just four plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It'll go as a gain of four. Their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. A huge play there on first and ten. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. The all-pro pass rusher, Joey Bowden. To start the drive, not much sense. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a young unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And with that, they will move out in front by three. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. The deficit in chances. This is third and eight. Herbert. They'll get this out wide to Eckler. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
But it certainly well, has <laughs> instead of Porterhouse. Eight ounces. That? Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And it hits there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open let's field. Important yardage on third down. From here, it would be a D-yard boot. Out of the gun, Herbert. He's going to go up top again. On first and ten, Mills. And the just rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. From all the work he's getting. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10, just shy of the 30. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Just a yard on the pickup there. On second and nine, Herbert. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. The shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put the sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion at the 39-yard line. Here is Heckler. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And he continues to pop. Once more, here's Heckler. And he'll go down at the 28. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive? Herbert setting up to throw on first down. On the screen, this is Heckler. Seven yards there on the first down yeah. screen play. On second down, Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little bit. We welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe bot here. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. And with a little more than a minute to go, we are all tied. Now we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. Now a handoff. Johnson. And that play going absolutely nowhere. And now it's fourth down. Get him, boy. Uh, the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop the clock. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Herbert to throw. Finding Allen. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And, and I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And that changes everything here in OT. Final blows and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor 60 minutes just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game it's a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. 
And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Kill accountability, and a sack resulted. Throwing on second and long, Mills. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Joey Bosa, who else? Really thinking they got to be careful not to force anything here in overtime. This is third and a mile right now. From the gun, here's Mills. Ochina Nuosu picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now part one is done, now part two. First throw in overtime for Herbert. It's complete to Cook. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one. On first and ten, Herbert. And complete right side to Cook. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Beckler, they run left side, and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. And that carry probably not so much, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Here's Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath, and he's got the first down as he gets it to Let's the go, eight. Let's go. It's behind the line of scrimmage, you fall on it, you get another chance at it. And he is in for the score! And it is absolute stun silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> Not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans streaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in.